Passover is next week, and with the disturbing rise in anti-Semitism around the country, police in our area are not taking any chances. CBS 2's Ali Bauman explains. Judith Cohen feels a pang of fear these days when she goes to her Suffolk County synagogue. We're a small population, and we need protection. A recent report from the Anti-Defamation League found 2022 was the worst year for anti-Semitism in the U.S. in four decades, with a 36% increase in incidents nationwide. And while New York holds the world's highest Jewish population outside of Israel, the state also has the highest number of anti-Semitic incidents last year at 580. Once we know it's happening, it's what do you do about it? Wednesday, Long Island Jewish leaders held a forum for combating hate in their communities. We are going to be uh, creating a uh, subcommittee uh, task force to battle and combat anti-Semitism in this county. So it's important that people understand what the issues are and the resources that are out there for them to really make a difference. Police say while hate crimes may be decreasing so far this year, hateful acts are not. There's a group of individuals that are passing flyers out and putting it on people's cars. And uh, this is something that um, scares me. Ahead of Passover, police here in Suffolk County will step up patrols around synagogues and have extra auxiliary officers driving around throughout the nights. The NYPD is taking similar safety measures. Your security during Passover will remain one of the NYPD's top priorities. We've also been keeping abreast of events and dynamics overseas, which may cause reflections back on the public safety profile of this city. Passover is the story of freedom. Jewish New Yorkers want the freedom to pray without fear. In Suffolk County, Long Island, Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News.